Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. So today we'll be reacting to Church or Mass. Where would Jesus go? Seeing some of these church videos, come on, we definitely know where Jesus would go. Let's dive right in. I was going to do a thought experiment quickly. Yeah, let me hear that. All right. <laughs> So imagine, uh, you know, so Muslims are also waiting for the second coming of Jesus. All right. Our Christian friends would be surprised. Really? You guys are waiting for Jesus? Yes, we are. But when he comes back, he's not coming back as a new prophet with a new revelation. He will come back as a Muslim the way that he was in the first coming. All right. So here is the thought experiment. Okay. Imagine now Jesus descends. Okay. Like in Damascus. All right. So in Damascus, there are Christians too there. So in front of Jesus, when he descends, imagine if there is a big church out there and next to the church is a mosque, a masjid. And the masjid door is open and the door of the church is open and Jesus is standing in the front and he can see inside the church. He can see inside the mosque. He can see people coming in the masjid and in the, in the church. Now he has to decide, should he go in the church or should he go in the mosque? Where would he go, right? First and foremost, when he, used, when he will see Muslims uh, going inside the mosque, Muslim males, they would have a beard. And he would know, you know what, I have a beard. All the prophets used to have a beard. These people, they look like me. I can connect with them. When he sees the Christians going inside the church, they're all clean shaved, right? Uh, so that's one way he can connect with the Muslims. Second thing is, when he sees the two Muslims saying, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, he can recall right away, you know what, that is my greeting that I used to give to my disciples. The Bible says in John chapter 20 verse number 19 and so forth. When you see the Christians meeting each other, they can have so many va variations of greeting, but not universally, peace be upon you. So Jesus, when he see the Muslims, he can say, I can connect with the Muslims. When he goes inside or when he sees inside the church, he will see, you know what, this statue of Jesus on the cross and uh, people worshipping God through a mediator. Then when he sees inside the masjid, he sees that people are worshipping without any mediator. He can then say, you know what, I instructed my followers to pray directly to God. As you mentioned the Lord's Prayer, correct? In the Lord's Prayer, there is no mention of people should be going through the mediator. Uh, Muslims are worshipping God directly. So that itself, Jesus will say, you know what, I can connect with the mosque and with the Muslims. Then when he's going to see the Muslims actually praying, they stand up, they bow down, and then they prostrate. In the Christian church, he's going to see people then jumping and dancing and rolling, right, and music and piano out there. He will say, I never preached like that. Never. I never prayed like that. I never taught my disciples to pray like that. But when he sees inside the masjid, people are lining and then they are praying to one God the way that he used to worship. Then they are also prostrating in the prayer. And he will recall, you know what? I used to pray exactly the same to my Creator. He will connect with the Muslims. Then imagine if it's the month of uh, fasting. When he sees uh, the people, they say that they are fasting like people of the church. But they were on the break time. Now they went and they are eating. All of them are eating, right? Then he will say, you know what, my fasting was never like that. Then he, when he sees the Muslims, they're not eating anything, not drinking anything, right? Mm -hmm. He will say, these are my people. When he used to say, women going inside the masjid, compared to women going inside the church, women in the church as they go inside, they're not wearing any heart covering, usually. Mm -hmm. Women of the masjid, they're going inside hijab. They're dressed like his mother. Whatever you have on Google of his mother, she's wearing the hijab. They're, yes. she, they're not going into the... Uh, the mosque with the uh, mini skirts. Yeah. So then he will say, you know what? They are dressing like my mother, Mary, with the hijab, modesty, decency. He will say, you know what? These are my people. Then when he fi finds out, you know, Christians are not circumcised, the uh, Christian males, and then he finds out that Muslim males are cir circumcised. And Jesus will think, you know what? I was circumcised when I was young, eight days of age, according to Matthew. He will say, these are my people. He was circumcised also. Yes, he was circumcised. That's a whole other question. God being circumcised doesn't make no sense. Different topic, right? Different topic, <laughs> One day yeah. we can do that. Yeah. But the most important thing, Brother Eddie, when he sees inside the church, compared to in the masjid, 
he will see you know what people are praying to trinity they are taking him to be god son of god when he said i'm only a prophet but when he sees inside the masjid steps inside the masjid he will say see they are only worshiping the one creator mm -hmm. the way that jesus that i used to worship he will say wow right so every single way so if in this thought experiment he will go in the masjid he will pray with the muslims he will connect with the muslims so any which way that we dissect right from the bible from the quran from history from the life of jesus from his practice from his preaching he was a muslim That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Not to be biased, but it does make sense. Right? Even with the beard, because if you watch all of the crucifixion videos, you can see that Jesus was dressed as a Muslim. Right? Covered up with a beard. And even with his, um, his disciple, his normal greetings, peace be upon you. That's the greeting of the Muslims, right? <clears throat> Even with the, even with the um the standing up, bending down, and then prostrating, that's all Jesus prayed while he he was even in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? And even the Catholics. Right, even the Catholic ch um, Church, where there is Jesus up on the cross, and it's like they are worshiping the the image of Him. Right, when Jesus said that I can do nothing but by my Father through my Father. Right, and uh, Jesus mostly spoke about Almighty God. Right, He spoke about Almighty God. He said that there is nothing that He can do without Him. He pray to Him. Right. And so the Muslims are saying that Jesus was a mediator, like um, even the the verse where he said, "He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by the Son." Right. So like we are saying, prayer to Jesus, and Jesus will then transfer it to the Father, where the Father will um give Jesus the answer, and Jesus will then refer it back to us. Right. But the Muslims are saying that they are on their knee and they're praying to Almighty God. Right, there's no image, there's no um symbols, there's there's nothing, there's just an empty mass with them um standing, bending, and prostrating themselves to Almighty God, right? And it actually makes sense because yes, he did not with the, there was no piano, there was no music, all right, and so the muslims they their call of prayer, their prayer what um is their their voice right there's no music, there's no piano, and it's just so beautiful, so touching, right they don't use piano, they don't use any sound of instru no instrument, no music, their voice, the gift of God. The gift that God has granted them with the skill, right? They use it to pray to God, to connect with God. But we use the jumping, the screaming, the rolling all over the place. As you can see, I'm trying to find a video that I can place right there to show as an example. And when he even referred to uh, Mary, when the woman, <clears throat> that's how the women are covered up. Because that's how Mary looked. Covered up from head to toe, right, in the hijab. So does the Muslim woman. All covered up. And even the Bible speaks about we women should cover up, right, cover our head. And uh, decent, just decent and and respect, respecting ourselves, right? So... This makes a lot of sense. And even the fasting, right? Where he speak about fasting, where they don't eat, they don't drink. We Christians, we fast like right now in the morning. And by about 12 o'clock, we're eating. But when they fast Ramadan, when there is Ramadan, right? They fast for uh, what? About 29 to 30 30 days for the whole month, right? They fast and they don't break it. They continually fast and they pray 
and call out to God, which is just amazing. And even the part where the Muslims do circumcise um, young um, young boys at a certain age, so was Jesus circumcised also. But not every Christian circumcised um, their 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 children, the boys, expect the boys really. They don't circumcise them. One and few, one or a few, you'll find circumcised. Like out of ten percent, you'll find at least six, seven percent circumcised. Hmm. This was really interesting. I'm guessing that. Trust me, Jesus would go to the mass, and even as a Christian, I would definitely go to the mass because it's more holy. Right when you compare all of that, when you put all of that that we just discussed, that he just discussed, that I just explained, I definitely and anyone Jesus would definitely go to the mass because everything's everything leads to how Jesus when um he was here on earth. That's exactly how he refers to things. Live, right? Peace be upon you. He was circumcised. The woman dressed um, modesty, modestly, right? Wow! Even the fasting, they don't. There's Ramadan, and they don't. They don't eat. They fast. They pray. They don't drink. They don't eat. That is what you call fasting, right? <sighs> Even the beard. When you enter the church versus the mosque. There is no image, there is no stone, there is nothing. Just the mat and you go and you pray to God. Pray to Almighty God. This was just amazing. God, Jesus would definitely go to the mass to be honest. I would definitely go to the mass also. When compared to the church. These modern church to be exact. But anyway guys. And Muslims worship one God like Jesus did. True. Anyway guys, we come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous and amazing and I love and appreciate you guys so so very much. Let love lead the way. I wish I had a time machine. Yeah. You turn me on like a light switch.